Yeah, Boom. Stew. <laughs> stew dogs. When'd you make beef stew, Matt? When'd you make beef stew, Matt? Earlier this year. Yeah, for your mom. Yesterday they were holding hands, now this. Boomer Sooner. Boomer Sooner, Rick. Boomer Sooner, there he is. Number one rated quarterback in college football, <coughs> Baker Mayfield. Bull. 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 Can everyone hear me? Diamond Dave, Dave Gangle. Dave! Yeah. Dave! I still got nothing on my wrist, Dave. I just like saying that every time he comes on. Maybe one day. Maybe for Christmas, Dave. Dan Ballard said tongue fighting. <laughs> <laughs> we were tongue fighting last night. Oh, oh watch no, out. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. I'm just lying. No Olivia, more coffee. Can people in Instagram land hear me? They can. Great. Now i got to talk to them, too. So if it, has everyone seen these? Boom, boom, if you boom, haven't boom, seen them, that boom, means you're not part boom, of the mailing list. Boom, boom. So if you haven't seen these, that means you are not part of the mailing list and you didn't get free shipping last night. Mm -hmm. oh. Maybe a reason to sign up for the mailing list. I don't know. Those folks got free shipping last night. Check them out. On the new rubs. But if you bought, you know, the other stuff with it, you didn't get free shipping. But if you only bought the new rubs last night, guys, we gave you free shipping just because we love you. So... I do, before we get in, into any news and or stuff, I do want to introduce our new lineup. Coming in first, a sweet, celery-infused, delicious, kind of a little spicy, dirty, girl, Bloody Mary mix. It's perfect on chicken, pork, and it's amazing around the rim of your Bloody Mary. So, uh, introducing... Dirty Girl Bloody Mary Rub, one of my favorites. Got a little spice, got a little kick, and you can taste that celery seed in it. It's delicious. Next, we've improved on a favorite, our Greek Rub, and we've swapped it up. Colden has now taken over the freaking Greek Rub. This is going to be super similar to our, our old Greek Rub, but it's going to be a lot more fresher, a lot more herbier. It's going to be an awesome... Mediterranean blend. This is amazing on chicken, pork, beef, eh, lamb. Oh my God, John Haddon, thank you so much for the lamb. Uh, are those gluten free? We did. These, all of these rubs are gluten free. I was getting to that. They are also MSG free. And for those of you homers out there, they are made in America. Robert, we do have the old rubs, except for we are out of the old honey rib, but we do have the old rubs. I'll save that one for last. Next. An all-out favorite from the office and all of our social media people that we've let taste and try these. Ben's Heifer Dust. It's a super simple blend of salt, pepper, garlic, onion, parsley, and paprika. Super simple, but they, they did an awesome job of combining everything exactly to where you're getting the best flavor. But hands down the favorite, Ben's Heifer Dust. So far, favorite so far. Next... You know, we couldn't leave out Raymond. We've got Ray's Front Row Master Blend. Go ahead and get that. That's a mouthful. Ray's Front Row Master Blend. Literally great with everything. I'm talking to you people. Everything. Ray's Front Row. We, we're going to call it our all-purpose. Next up, couldn't leave out the co-founder, Ron Cundy. We've got an espresso rub now. This has got ancho chili powder as well as some of that espresso pepper, espresso and espresso peppers and stuff. Uh, kicking espresso rub, this is great on chicken, pork. Uh, what else is this awesome on? Ribs. Ribs, oh yes, the ribs that we had the other day. Mm. But yeah, Ron's espresso rub, we now have a coffee rub. Next, again, we've kept another of our number ones, Rasa Ruski's Honey Rib Rub, it's back! It was only out for a day, but it's back. We changed it up a little bit. This is, uh, the ingredients are much more fresher. Is that a, that's not a word. Much more fresh. They're much more fresh <laughs> than they used to more be. More fresh. Um, but it's a, a, a like good pressure. spin on an old favorite. You, you guys who love Rossaruskis, you're absolutely going to love this. I guarantee it. And then my personal favorite, I mean, I just have to give everybody a big thumbs up on this, is my own Jody's Asian Persuasion Rub. Yeah, I said it. 
It's got my name on it. But this is a good honey ginger. You guys know I love everything Asian, uh, even my wife. And um, I'm just fired up about this. I had the opportunity. It, it tastes amazing. Um, it's literally great on everything. Matt likes to put it on all of his vegetables raw. Um, but this is also great on everything as well, guys. Not so much beef, honey ginger on beef. I mean, maybe, tuna you steak. know. Tuna steak. Wow, yes. Mm -hmm. Salmon was great. Yep, that's right. Uh, fish, stuff like that. Which one's the spiciest? The spiciest is definitely going to be that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. It's going to have some of that spicy uh, Bloody Mary in there. Uh, Ray's also has a little bit of kick to it. So, what we got? What we got in Facebook land over there? Uh, somebody asked Espresso Peppers question mark, and yeah, Paul yeah. Paul responded and said it's a new hot pepper grown by Rectech. Yeah, we grow, <laughs> we grow them out back. Somebody asked him what we're cooking today. But yes, I had to introduce the rubs. Like I said, um, if you were on the mailing list, you were able to buy them last night. And if you only bought the new rubs, you got free shipping on them as well. So we really appreciate everybody uh, being part of the mailing list. If you want to be part of the newsletter or mailing list, please go to our website. Scroll all the way down at the bottom, and it's very plain right there at the bottom. It says enter your first name and then your email. First name, then email, um, and then hit go, and then you'll be part of the mailing list. We have awesome uh, emails every week. We're also going to start giving you guys some Chef Dave, video, uh, Chef Greg videos uh, as well. Um, so, uh, you know, we can make your Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas is a whole lot easier for you guys. But... Without further ado, it is Fun Day Friday. We are cooking something that we've never cooked on film, on camera before. We're gonna do the poor man's brisket. And this is a beef chuck roast from the shoulder. I've got two of them here. They're boneless beef chuck roasts, technically called the poor man's brisket. We call them the middle class man's brisket around here because they were kind of expensive. Um, so, without further ado, the very first rub I'm gonna use of the new line, like I said, it's a hands down office favorite, is gonna be the Ben's Heifer Dust. Yeah! Ben's fired up about it. And he thinks we're playing a joke on him because every time we get around him with this rub, we tell him that it is the all out favorite. And he's like, guys, you guys are messing with me. There's no way that this, you know, it can be the all out favorite. Ben likes it, but he doesn't think it's his favorite. But hands down, this is the one to get. If you want to try one, I mean, I'll push you, I'll sell you mine all day long. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Ben's Heifer Dust, if you have to pick one, guys, you're not, it's not that, it's not spicy. Uh, it's not over peppery. It's not over salty. It's not over anything. This is the one to get. You're not going to be upset. You're going to be glad you bought it for sure. So Ben's Heifer Dust. So what else is going on in the world? Uh, we've got the other rubs on closeout, remember? Five dollars for the other rubs until they're gone. We're already out of our Rossaruskis, so we've converted to the new Rossaruskis. And to you folks out there um, that want to buy the sauce and spice bundle, it is now part of the new rub. The new rubs are now part of the sauce and spice bundle, so go out and get that. We've got new hats, the camo hat. Go out and get it too, guys. Remember, rectechgrills.com. Uh, today, Lane's Barbecue is out back cooking for us, helping us roll out these rubs. So we'll be going live with them in a little bit as well. Uh, we got any questions or anything, AB? Um, well, somebody somebody commented they sprinkle heifer dust in their coffee. Ho! <laughs> hey, ya! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, new rubs on closeout. We got, I mean, old rubs on closeout. We got new rubs out now. Right. Rectech Academy, May 3rd through 6th, 2018, like I said. Last week we got Snake River Farms as a sponsor. We've also got Smithfield Meats as a sponsor. That's a big deal. Yeah. Huge, huge deal. Hey, if you want to think about a great Christmas gift, what about sending somebody to Rectech Academy? Absolutely. It Man. makes an awesome Christmas gift. Uh, and then heck, I mean, if, if you're a spouse and you're buying it, you know, for the, you know, your spouse, you can buy one for yourself and you guys are going to have a great time here yep. in Augusta, Georgia. There's plenty of stuff to do. Uh, we're going to have food, drinks, concerts. You're going to get to meet Ray Carnes. I mean, that's worth $9.98 all on its own, I'm telling you. Um, but no, enough pumping everything. Let's get back to cooking. Fun day Friday. I've got this. What, go ahead. Uh, Charlotte, uh, you can call 855-696-0890 uh, for the Academy. 855-696-0890. That's right. So we're going to get to uh, cooking. Like I said, I got the 680, RT680, the big boy, outside. 350 degrees with the ultimate blend pellet. Remember, ultimate blend is red oak, white oak, and hickory mixed. 
What did I do before I turned the grill on, guys? What do I do every week? I cleaned out my fire pot and I changed my aluminum foil. That's what I do every time before I cook, every time. Why? Because I want to have a consistent cook and I don't want anything to go wrong. Remember, if we don't clean out our fire pot regularly, it's going to restrict airflow and it's going to cause temperature issues. If you don't change your foil regularly, you have a chance of a grease fire. Anytime you're up above or 375 around that 400 degree area, uh, you can have a grease fire. That aluminum foil sometimes stops some of that grease from flowing down, so it's really important to change that aluminum foil often. Jerry wants to know, of the new rubs, which would you put on a brisket if you had to pick one? Out of the one? new rubs, which one would I put on a brisket? Hands down, pepper dust. Ben's Heifer Dust. It's got salt, pepper, garlic. Um, beef loves salt, pepper, garlic. Hands down, Ben's Heifer Dust, any type of beef, you cannot go wrong. Hands down. That's what we're putting on our poor man's brisket right now. Ben's Heifer Dust. We got Carlo Casanova checking in. Carlo, what's up, bruh? Congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the win in place the other day. So, I'm going to liberally season this, guys. What does liberally mean? It means a lot. I'm going to season it a lot. And we're going to slice this, too, just like a brisket. Okay? But you guys go get a shoulder chuck roast. I got these from two different grocery stores just because I wanted to try them out and see which one was my fave. But you can see if AB, you can get close in there. That's not regular salt, guys. Some of that salt is actually... Uh, pretzel salt. So you see those big thick chunks in there? It's going to give you great flavor on your beef. Pretzel salt. That's crazy, huh? Another huge, nice beef chuck roast here. Shoulder. Look at that big chunks. You can see the parsley in there. You can see the garlic. You can see the pepper. Look at that giant salt in there, guys. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, look at that piece of meat. Look at that marbling right there. Looks good. It's not marbling all over, but it's marbling at least right there. That's going to be my piece. You guys visit rectechgrills.com. Sign up for the mailing list. Folks were able to get the rubs last night uh, before you even found out about them today. So I'm coating all sides of this bad boy, treating it just like a brisket. R not really rubbing it in, but more patting it and being kind of gentle with it. Go ahead, Abby. You got a gift on the way from Diamond Dave. Oh, um, my man. He said, it's, and it's not a bracelet. Ah, no, I'm just playing. Any gift from you, Dave, is an honor and a pleasure, sir. But Dave, uh, just a uh, side note, my wife was on social media trying to get Dave to make her something. She was, uh, I saw her trying to message Dave, you know, behind me. Hey, Dave, what about this for the Rec Tech Live? So, Becky, Dave sees you out there. And Carlos cooking apparently in Arkansas this weekend. He said, Rec Tech Mafia. Arkansas. There you go. That's a little trip for the boys from Texas. Y'all go follow Pitmaster Casanova, Carlo L. Casanova on social media. Yeah. KG Cookers. KG Cookers. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got? Well, that was easy. That was easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. You dang, you dang right. Sorry, everyone. Uh, what else we got going on? I want to, uh, those Instagram folks, El Gordo, we see you out there. Thank you for posting so much. Tim Shelburne, we see you out there, buddy. Guys, if you are not part of Instagram, you got to go on Instagram and uh, follow Rec Tech Grills on Instagram. There's a lot of awesome cooks, awesome chefs on there. Big Green Craig is, uh, is an awesome cook out there. Go follow him. Tim Shelburne, T. Shelburne is an awesome cook. Go follow him. Uh, we've got Lane's Barbecue using our grill. Uh, El Gordo, we see you. I see you out there, Mr. Uh, Raul. Um, who else is out there, Matt? Got Guns Up Barbecue. We got Guns Up Barbecue out there. Um, Girls Can Grill just did an awesome review for us, and she actually did jerky on her 680 the other day. Ernest Cervantes. Yep, Ernest is using our grill. So, guys, if you're following us, go follow these people as well. That way, you know, you can get some different ideas and whatnot for your cooks uh, and just see what they're doing. Uh, there's a lot of customized grills out there. Uh, it's really cool to see. Um, but to not get off track too much. We got anything else to mention? It's hunting season, so you know where Ray's at. Um, Mu muzzle loader. That's, non pr that's primitive weapons season in Georgia right now. Tomorrow it'll be gun season, so Ray's gonna be popping them. Um, so hopefully we can get him back here soon for you guys. Or more than that, get some venison back here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, I've got, we've got some deer meat in the freezer now. I brought it from home. Uh, so yeah, we'll be going live. We'll probably be hunting with Ray. So if you guys are hunters, outdoorsmen, 
get ready for that. We're gonna be taking a bunch of pictures and maybe going hunting with Ray. He's got some awesome land. Uh, what else we got? 680 beef chuck roast going on the 680 at 350 degrees. We're gonna pull it at an internal. I like to pull it 135. Wrap it. Fat bottom. Fat bottom grows. Wait, don't make the world go around. All right, we'll see you a little bit. See you at the 680. See you at the 680. Couple minutes. Oh, I was gonna make love to that oh, one. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still here. Hey, I'll make love to this one. <laughs> God, that bin smells so freaking good. Lane's barbecue. How's it going? We got Ryan. 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 Yeah, I was trying to keep it easy. Always the Ryan. Oh, oh God, I want to call everybody. Call everybody. Yeah. I mean, right. you can call me whatever you need. I know, right? Just don't call me late for supper. Yeah. Olivia, what are you doing over there? Yeah. Okay, cool, perfect. So these are the makers of our awesome rubs. We had to let the cat out of the bag, of course. You guys probably already knew that, but. Uh, Right now, 350, RT680, Ultimate Blend Pellet, Red Oak, White Oak, Hickory Mix. We're going to throw these chuck roasts on real quick. And then uh, we'll hang out, eat a little bit. Then we'll come back, show you all the chuck roasts, show you all some food. And then we'll talk more about the rubs. So let's throw it on. Yeah, perfect. Get on in there, buddy. Everybody calls them the poor man brisket. We call them the middle class brisket because they were kind of expensive. Still. <laughs> That's what happens is cheaper cuts get more expensive. That's right. Just like popular. the chicken wings, man. They're like a dollar. Just like brisket. Yeah. yeah. And then they got some chicken thighs on there with different rubs so you guys can see the color. We got a lot of things. We got thighs, we got chicken wings, we've got some. Uh, some big bone-in pork chops that we brined and then seasoned up with some different ones. The wings look great. We got some Bloody Mary chicken wings on the left and then the Asian Persuasion on the right. And then I wish, wish we had some jerky going. I know, right? I know. I can't believe we got the grease on. We should have came we also got some baked beans going and then uh, some macaroni and cheese. So it's cool. kind of, we got everything going on. Yep, along with the chops. So we eating good today, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much uh, for tuning in. We'll be back. Like I said, I'm going to shoot for an internal of 135-ish. Uh, you know, a lot of people want that 145, so I'll pull it at 135, I'll wrap it up, and I'll let it climb a little bit, and then we'll slice it up. A good meat, uh, rare, mid-rare-ish. We'll be back with Lane's Barbecue, Ryan and Brian. Uh, what else we got? Academy, remember Academy, May 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th here in Augusta, Georgia. We got the new camo hats, the new seasonings, go check them out. New t-shirts. Really t good, super soft. New t-shirts. Breathable, breathable for you big guys out there. They go up to three, four X. Yeah, yeah this is what not to wear on a hot day. No. That is what to wear on a hot day. We tried to look all official. <laughs> yeah, and the and the I don't know, man. The temperature said it was going to be like high seventies, but it feels like eighties, nineties right now. So it's ridiculous. Yeah. Thank you guys awesome. for uh, tuning in. Remember, 
sign up for the newsletter. Remember, those folks last night got to buy the new rubs, and they got the new rubs for free shipping. That's the only way you get cool deals. Uh, we'll be giving away some stuff later, so tune in. Remember, set your notifications so you'll know when we're going live so you'll have an opportunity at winning all this cool stuff that we do. Okay? Okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'll see you out there, Matt. I'll see you out there, Olivia. Lane's Barbecue. We got new rubs. We're cooking food. New rubs. New rubs. guys We got some turkey, some brisket, full pork. Mmm, look at those chops. Wet wings, dry wings. Chicken thighs. Diamond Dave, what's up? Oh, thanks, Downer. It's these guys right here. Ooh, look at the mango cheese. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I have an obsession. Diamond Dave. Diamond Dave just sits away from us to go live. I love it, Diamond Dave. We love you, Diamond Dave. Thanksgiving came early. That's right, Dave. Turkey Jody Main. Oh man, that looks real good. Uh, Ashley Brown of Meat Sweats, live in person. Meat Sweats! You guys want to tell us how you what you did to them? How you made them? Yep, so we've got uh, the brisket has, so what we did is we kind of got all the, the lineup. So the brisket's got the heifer dust on it. Uh, we've got some wings that have the Asian Persuasion and the um, the Bloody Mary rub. And we've got chicken, we've got the Greek, we've got the rib rub, and we've got the Master's Blend. And then the pulled pork has the rib rub on it as well. And then the espresso is in the baked beans. Mm, nice. Rib rub in the mac. Nice. Awesome. There's Jody loving it. That's his fourth nugget. <laughs> it's like a you know, chick fil A platter. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> well, I mean, like you sit there and you're like, I just ate two of them. How'd that happen? It's like four Big Macs left. Okay, I can see. And the banana pudding just has love in it. Well, let's go look at that banana pudding. How did you make the banana? Don't forget the banana pudding. There you go. Did you flip the wings or just let them cook? No flipping. No flipping. Come on, Alexander. That turkey Jody made. We're doing a little bit different, but. Jody, what did you use on this turkey? On the turkey, I actually uh, separated the skin and I put butter, rosemary, and thyme up underneath the skin. And then I dusted it with the uh, Dirty Girl Bloody Mary mix. And then I wanted it to be give a good crispy skin, so I also put a little bit of raise on there too. Did you brine it? I did not brine it. But if you brine your birds, Make sure you use Lane's barbecue brine. That's right. How's that taste? Good. 
Man, I'm gonna take these roasts off. Real good. Alright, we got more guys. The actual fun day Friday. Well, we yeah. put them on about 11. When do you think we put them on that? Uh, about 12.15. About 12.15? Really? The roasts? About 11.30. About 11.30? Cool. And it's, uh, and it's one now. So that's... Oh, we can't wait until... That's two and a half hours. They were on there. They were about a two pound roast. And Diamond Dave, he did not quarter that turkey before cooking it. He did it whole. I did it. I did a whole, buddy. I always do the whole bird. Most of the time, I spatch cock. That way, he cooks a lot uh, more. So that's uh, 130. That's where we want it at. It's a little far, far for me, but that's okay. I don't have any utensils. <laughs> Jody making it work. Man. I'm just going to wrap them, let them sit about five minutes, and then we'll slice them up really quick. Four man's brisket. Middle class brisket. Middle class brisket. Lane's barbecue in the house. Ryan and Brian. Good job. Now, why'd you put it? In that smoker oh, no. box, buddy. Yes. Well, I actually uh, have some leftover turkey, so I'm just gonna keep it warm in our smoke box. Girl set at 350. This top rack's about 225. The bottom rack's about 150. So it's gonna keep the turkey nice and, and warm and moist. Y'all see my eyebrow raise That's after awesome. I said that word? A lot of Can ladies you do don't like one at a time, though. So no, I can. let's see. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> oh wait, look. Look at that Facebook land. Y'all see that? I hit my head at work the other day. Is that in the back of that truck? What? When you were no, it was off? not in the back of the He's truck. Like, I, can't remember. I was out here sweeping, <laughs> trying to get uh, clean for Ray, uh, Lane's barbecue, and uh, I hit my head. Well, let me tell you, it was worth it. It was nice <laughs> and clean. Was it clean? Okay, perfect. Until I threw vinegar sauce all over your floor. <laughs> no, no, no. It was awesome. You can't tell it's been sauce. Did you see the graceful it was, No, I can't wait to see it later. The wings went up and all the sauce went over. But you caught the wings. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Ryan, where can they no find you online, behind. man? Uh, Lanesbbq.com is our website, and uh, Instagram and Facebook is just Lane's Barbecue. If y'all looking for a turkey or chicken or poultry brine, they got yeah, it. we just launched a new brine about two weeks ago. Super easy to use. Um, don't have to heat it up. You just mix it with water, put in your protein, let it sit for a couple, 24 hours. Perfect. Cool. And actually, y'all did the we did the chop chops in yeah in the brine. They were super super wet. So cool. Check this one more time, guys. We don't have the. And what temperature did you cook the wings, guys? What's that? What temp did you cook the wings? Uh, we cooked them at 350 degrees. Cool. Time and temp. Them, That's all we took them. Wants to know. <laughs> yeah, so they, we put them on about 11. Uh, they cooked for, actually about 11.15. They cooked for about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, when they hit 185, we tossed these in uh, barbecue sauce and then put them back on for another 10 15 minutes and these went until they hit about 190 and that way they just pop off um you guys are sauce. Sauce. Everything go okay no we use y'alls yeah yeah i used cool. a blend of the regular and the spicy cool these two right here there he is harry just a combo there's harry hey, Harry. There he is. Harry. What is this here? Brisket on the Yes. Yeah. And yes, Facebook, those are gold bulls. Yeah. Hard at work. All right, guys, we'll check in with you later. My Brody. Mm. Okay.
Uh, yes, world, that is a Coca Cola. Yes, world, he said. Also, Coca Cola. And now, I'm going to drink some more Coca Cola. Happy birthday, Adam. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Groundhog Day. 36 forever. <laughs> Pensacola, Florida checking in. Pensacola, home of the Blue Angels, maybe? Right? Summer green. You guys can see it's kind of going yay. So I'm gonna come over here. That is a medium rare Andy right here. there, baby. Pensacola now. Chef Greg's in. Chef Craig is in what? Sarasota? No, he's in Tallahassee with the Florida State Seminoles. Mm hmm. That's some good juicy beef right there, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. Ben's ever does. Mm. Mm. Delicious, guys. I got it to 135, remember. 135, 140, between there. I pulled it off, let it sit for about five minutes, and it's... A freaking awesome 145 ish, a good medium rare, medium. Keep it simple, poor man's brisket, middle class man's brisket. Um, we had it on the Rec Tech for uh, 350 degrees for what, 11.30 to 11.30 to 1. That's what, two and a half hours, right? I think, is that the, all right? And these were both about two pounds, so it took about, you know, that long. Um, Woo! You guys, go to rectechgirls.com, check out our rubs, check out the old rubs, check out the new rubs. You can't go wrong. Uh, we want to send a shout out. You guys go uh, like Lane's Barbecue on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that they do. Uh, they did an awesome job for us today. They did an incredible job on the rubs. We really appreciate that. Um, we got any questions or anything out there? No. There's a lot of shout outs, man. Shout out! Shout let, me out. Shout him, let me shout some out. Bart Black. Bart Black! Get your butt over here, big dog. He said he's coming. He's coming to get some grub. Come on, we got some grub for you. We got some grub for you. Anybody in Augusta, come on by. We got plenty of food. Kevin Blancet. Got Illinois checking in. Got Pennsylvania but anybody in Augusta, we got plenty of food. Come on by, hang out with us. Check out the new rubs. We got a, we got the old rubs still on closeout. Rosteruskis is already gone, but we got the new Rosteruskis. Remember, Rec Tech Academy made third, fourth, fifth, and sixth right here in Evans, Georgia. It's going to make an awesome Christmas gift, guys. Go ahead and start thinking about Christmas now. That way, you're not thrown off by when you know uh, that first. What is it? First Friday. Black Friday, I didn't want to say that, but I had to. Um, shout out to Dirty Girl. Uh, shout out to uh, all my folks on Instagram, El Gordo, Tim Shelburne, Big Green Craig, all those folks. I'm Dave. Josh Tahan, what's up Josh Tahan? I know you're out there, you'll be <laughs> out there eventually. Uh, Ray, kill us a big deer. I want some uh, back straps, so. Uh, or it doesn't have to be a big deer. One dose tastes good too. Fort so. Wayne. Checking in. Would you guys check out everybody just having a good time? Eating. Scruffy dog! Scruffy horse burger! It's like, no Is this like. Venison bag straps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just roast. You got that uh, Ben's heifer dust on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had juice coming off. Right? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, it's delicious. It's good. But you can't screw it up, guys. It's just super simple. Just get it to that 135, 140 and pull and it. And you simply just it. put it on and let it go, right? I put it on and let it go. Remember, you, yeah. Ryan asked me, hey, should I flip this? Didn't touch it, didn't flip it. He cooked chicken thighs in there while these were in there. So just keep it simple, guys. And yeah. it's, you know, being not as tough as a brisket, you know, it's, it's, it's real hard to kind of dry out, so. <laughs> Man, 
thank you guys so much once again. We're humbled for the thank you cards, the t-shirts I get in the mail every week. I'm sorry I can't show them all to you, but it's nuts how much stuff that you guys are sending us. The thank you cards mean the most, of course. Uh, just knowing that you guys are happy with the product and uh, you're excited to watch us. Uh, we do this for you guys. There's no other, you know. Heck, I get paid to cook barbecue and talk about grills all day, so. There's not much complaining from me. Um, we are humbled. We thank you. Um, actually, I want to give away something right now. Whoa! Ray has left this 3X Masters Week shirt at the office for about two months now. It's been hanging up um, in Matt's office. So if you want a black, I think it's black and gray, uh, uh, like Bobby Jones edition master shirt. God, I hope Ray's not gonna be mad. I'm gonna give it away right now. I'm giving away Ray's 3X master shirt right now for the uh, the first person. I'm gonna wait because now people are like getting ready to type stuff. <laughs> Never before worn. It's been worn by Ray Carnes, but it has been left here at the office for about two months. But I feel I feel like giving it to you guys. You know, you feel you know you're part of the family. Uh, it's a 3X Masters Week Master shirt, so it's got the Augusta National logo on it. Uh, it's sporty. Uh, let's say uh, the first person that puts uh, Lane's Barbecue uh, in the comment section of uh, Facebook. Sorry, Instagram. Sorry, it's got to be Facebook only. There's only one T-shirt, and I can only That's do true. it to one person. So, uh, so get, hit me up, Matt. Who is it? See. Anybody put it in Lane's Barbecue in the comment? Or if somebody on Instagram does it first, that's fine too. Ooh, it looks like our winner, man. Josh Erfman. <laughs> Josh Erfman? Josh, call the office. 855-696-0890. Ask for Connor. Connor, we're giving away Ray's. Master's t-shirt that's been hanging up in Matt's office. <laughs> Josh Erfman, thanks for watching. Thanks for everything you do. You're, part of, you're definitely part of that mafia. But thank you guys so much. Once again, we're humbled. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, to the to the people talking smack about the, the breakup send away video for the rubs, give me a break. Some people put there, are y'all going to go out of business? Yeah, we're going out of business, so let's get rid of the, the cheapest product that we got. Sure. Come on, guys. Be real. Come on. We're having fun on the internet. Have fun with us. Don't be a dick. <sighs> All right, Rec Tech Lifestyle. I'll see you at the 680 next week. Later. Please.